Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to build a landing page for your SharePoint list. As you'll notice when I click on IT tickets here, I have the all issues, active issues, data entry, which I created, and my issues, so four views, and I can't see more than three of them. And it doesn't matter how long they are, you just see three of your views in this list. So if you want to make more views visible, I would recommend doing a landing page. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna add a new page, and I'm gonna call that Tickets Landing. Actually, let's put it like that, doesn't really matter. You'll get a rather nice URL here in SharePoint 2013. And then I'll just use the Wikilinks feature to build links to my views here. So I'm gonna go into IT tickets. Notice that I'm pressing tab here to get these views. So I'm tabbing into all issues. And then of course I'm closing that off and then doing the same for the next one. The keyboard is the best way to do this, but it gets somewhat slow, of course. There we go. There we go. And finally, the last one. Could of course copy and paste all of this too, but, but um, this is slightly more powerful, I think. So you can do that, and uh, of course you can put bullets on them, you can make them nicer in whatever way you like, but and that's the main principle. And then I'm going to make sure that people, when they click this link here, they get into this page instead. What I'm going to do is go into the site contents, find the site pages, which this of course is, a site page. I'm going to edit the links, and then I can pull that out over there. Sometimes this works. Let's see. There we go. No, it doesn't. All right. Then I'm just going to go ahead and copy that link. I'll just open that in a new tab by holding down the control key on my keyboard. That always works. There we go. Now I have a link to my tickets landing, and then I'm going to add a link there, and I'm going to call that IT tickets too. There's another one, and I'll drag that up over there. Sometimes drag and drop doesn't really work that well. So let's remove the original one and right and save this. And if drag and drop doesn't work for you for some reason, then site setting can come to the rescue. And in the quick launch here, which is of course this part is called, then I can move these up. So I'm going to change the order. And right under home, I want the IT ticket, so I'm going to put that as number two. There we go. So now when people click that link, they are taken to the landing page and they can go directly to the view that they want. In the next demo, I'm going to put a graph here. I'm actually going to show this Excel-based chart. Thank you for watching this demonstration.